most of you or most of us when we come to these Gulf countries we talk about the jobs we think about the jobs in the Gulf uh, we think about the jobs in these Gulf countries and that is the main the main the main reason why we all come to these countries or why we come to this country or come to these countries it may be in Saudi Arabia it may be in Oman it may be in Qatar it may be in Kuwait uh, it may be any other country that you come to but remember when we are talking about the jobs we can't fail to mention the jobs those that we think are all favorite or those that we think that they are going to earn us bread on the bread we talk about the cleaners we talk about the security guards we talk about the delivery uh, people we talk about um, technicians and all types of jobs but remember when we are talking about the jobs that we come to do in these countries the all the two types of locations that you normally have oh there may be more than those that you think that you think you know in the same way and that's what we talk about uh, when we talk about um, the indoors and the outdoors locations depending on what you are doing depending on a particular job that you're doing or depending on what or where you are posted to do that particular job in today's video i want to take you through of something that we need to actually understand for some of us who are planning to come to these countries for some of us who are already in these countries we might be seeing such kind of things happening but we may not know why they do happen why we have different changes of weather far away from where we come from if you are coming from africa if you are coming from asia you definitely know what i'm talking about because we hold this all these different countries different continents have different weather so when we talk about the jobs, you know definitely the jobs I'm talking about and what you do. So when it's specifically today, I'll just talk about what we call Katal. Uh, I'm so delighted that today I was in Katal. And uh, I just want to talk about small something small about Katal. And that is the weather. When we come to these Gulf countries, we talk about the unusual, the unusual weather. Or what we call the weather conditions that we need to know the different weather conditions we talk about uh, we talk about um, the sunny the winter the storm everything that you know but remember when we are talking about Qatar why I'm prompted today to make this video to let you know what happens with, especially with the weather that we have some extreme time of the period of the year where we have different weather conditions is what we call the unusual weather remember the weather in Qatar is marked or is marked throughout what we call a full year by several unusual weather conditions which may be normally uh, sometimes they may be known as what we call uh, known as what we call the shamal or as a light weather they are really very good so Remember, this country is hosting what we call the FIFA World Cup. It's a beautiful road. We talk about the beautiful weather, the beautiful building. That keep on going. So when we are talking about what you call the Shamal winds or Wasim winds, sometimes they are characterized with what you call heavy rains, strong winds, dust storms, and thunder, and lightning at all commons during some periods of the year. But today, we have what you call the shamal shamal winds remember these are common during periods in the dust environment unsettled weather seems rather out of place though strongly capturing the strong winds that we are talking about the strong winds that we are talking about they are known as shamal winds shamal winds are just from the north shamal and occur at any time of the year they are most frequently in what we call 
the summer months of the period remember when we are talking about the summer you definitely know to different countries the summer periods may be a little bit very different may be a little bit different in one or the other so what happens that at any time of the year they are most frequently in what you call the summer month to a lesser degree we may have them seen them in what you call the winter period when i talk about the summer winds you definitely what i know i'm talking about like today it was stormy and dusty you would rather see a small short distance away from you because it's covered with a creeping storm forever remember during the summer events the winds flow down to Qatar through what you call the Persian Gulf. Increase in strength. This is due to a what you call a thorough low pressure from the north. It's interacting with what you call the area of the high pressure over what you call the Arabian Gulf. That is how this wind came 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 about. It's how this wind came about. So something I need to show you that it sometimes also becomes a little bit when you're driving that you need to be a little bit very careful as you're trying to drive or as you're trying to go wherever that you have to do at one or the other which is quite very good because remember we are talking about the FIFA World Cup we are talking about Qatar 2022 the FIFA World Cup which is pretty very good which we are, we, which we are about to enjoy the game at one or the other but remember when we are talking about what you call the shamal winds or what you call the stormy winds they create what you call an enormous sand storms it's like a sand storms are like kind of dust that uh, that scribble over that you find yourself covered with a little bit of uh, dust uh, i'm trying to show you how the highway looks like and uh, definitely you definitely can see from a little bit of the angle uh, what we may be talking about. Remember the storm that covers what you call the vast in of it all that comes in one way or the other. Uh, what you call the storm vast is what you see the visibility. You may not have what you call the clear visibility to see where you are going. It is reduced in what you call emitters because it's like kind of uh, stormy kind of what you call a stormy bit of area that you may not see it's just covered with what you call a film of dust people who know what you call sandstorms or what you call the dusty storms you know it's like covering you you cannot see away a bit of it uh, some miles away or some meters away from you remember sometimes breathing this kind of hair or this kind of dust is always sometimes is, is harder in one way or the other. It's honey healthy. That's why to sometimes they always advise you to cover yourself or to cover your nostrils, to cover yourself in one way or the other. It's a precautionary measure that you're supposed to take. But remember something that I need to remind you that this kind of storms or this kind of dust storms that come, they normally come in frequently some periods of, of the month and they tentatively tend to go away. Why are we talking about this? That sometimes when we come to these jobs in this Gulf country, we need to be a little bit very careful. Or we need to know that such kind of things that are supposed to happen, we ha may have what you call weather changes. So what happens is that precautionally, you need to take care of yourself. You need to know how to, to protect yourself away from what you call the weather. And exactly that's what I want to let you know. That as you come to these Gulf countries to do a number, quite of number of jobs, you do expect this will be what you call weather changes. And you definitely know you have to explain such kind of things at a time. So how are you going to take care of yourself? By the way, if you are one of those people that are planning to come, is this going to deter you to come to, to look for that opportunity? No, it's only to take care of yourself and take the precautionary measures. Then the rest of things you just have to move and move it the way uh, it's supposed to be. This is exactly what I wanted to let you know and this is what I wanted to show you. How does it look like? You find it's a little bit sunny but the temperatures are a little bit low. 
but the winds and the storms are all over that it gets to close what you call the visibility from a distance dust creeps from uh, moving like the winds keep on squeezing the dust from the ground up in the air which may deter you to have the visibility in one water hope i've tried to share something for you hope i've tried to share so for those that are planning to come to these gulf countries definitely know you are going to find such kind of things you're going to find such kind of weather but how are you going to live with such kind of weather sometimes it's what you call perseverance taking care of yourself and understanding the situation and you like you take care of your life because no one will take care of your life apart from you it's something that you cannot run away hope i've tried to share out something for you for those people that are planning to come to these gulf countries to do something or you've got an opportunity to have the visa to come this should not be something to lay to worry you off it should not be something that stop you to come take the opportunity take the opportunity and come and try the opportunity you come and try it out the rest you just leave it to god because he will take care of you and take care of your life but you must know that you'll expect such kind of weather changes when it comes to winter it may not be real ice as people talk about in other countries in european countries but it may be some extreme cold to some days of, of to some uh, days of the week or days of the month it may be some a little bit very extreme cold but definitely if it is definitely cold how do you tentatively how do you tentatively take to take care of yourself is by covering yourself such that you can live what you call a health life when it comes to wind uh, storm winds like these storm winds what do you have to do it's all about taking care of yourself which is quite very important thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this max from the max creation by the way if it's your first time come across this channel please consider subscribing to this channel by the way do not forget to hit that notification bell because it will always you will always be updated whenever we upload a new video thank you so much see you again in the next video